What's going on, everybody? This is DK Dynamite for a bit of a confusing update for Season 1 Reloaded. So about an hour after the mid-season update did release, they went ahead and updated the Battle Pass with the Classified Sector. And they went ahead and swapped out the event, which was previously Vortex for the Magma Camo, and swapped that out for a new event for the boys. We'll get to that in a little bit because that's really confusing. But first and foremost, for the bundle shop, they have re-released Starlight. This is the only bundle I didn't buy last year with the first boys collaboration. I did buy Homelander and Black Noir last year, but I'm still seeing folks say in chat that even if they did or did not buy Homelander or Black Noir, they are not seeing those bundles in their shop today. They're only seeing Starlight. So this should just be confirmation that they are going to end up releasing Homelander and Black Noir again at some point. No A-Train, no Firecracker, sadly. So they'll probably drop those throughout the duration of Season 1, what's left of it in the next two weeks or so. We did get the new System Error bundle, though, for 2,000 COD points. Pretty cool animated-looking blueprints. No tracer, sadly. Got loading screen, decal, emblem, calling card, and even a weapon charm. But with the new Classified Sector, as expected, there's new weapons in here. So if you guys have completed adjacent sectors, you can access the Classified tab. That's how it works. It's not just open for everybody. You have to have completed adjacent sectors around it to access this one. So... In this sector, there is the new HRM9 SMG, which was previously marketed to be locked behind an armory challenge, but that's not how they decided to release it today. You go to armory challenges, don't see the HRM9. Not sure what happened there. So they just changed their mind on how they wanted to drop it. So you have to do multiple challenges to get access to this weapon unlock challenge. Some people don't like that, but I think it's just cool replayability for a mid-season update. First off, you have to unlock the Jack Thunder LMG kit, which is for the side winder. The challenge for that is to go ahead and get what is it? 10 operator or special zombie kills while aiming down sights with SMGs. Again, this is an aftermarket part for the Sidewinder, which will turn it into an LMG. Pretty damn cool. We then have the Jack BFB part. Not sure what this is for. Let's see if chat knows. Don't know what this is for. But in order to unlock this, you have to go ahead and get 10 operator or special zombie hipfire kills with SMGs. It's just a laser attachment. I believe it just works for most weapons, maybe all weapons. But yeah, two aftermarket parts. I believe these are the last two that were confirmed for season one. We'll probably get new ones added with season two. We also have an emblem, the Cranium Cracked emblem. And what it wants you to do is go ahead and get 10 operator headshot or special zombie critical kills with SMGs. Then we have a double battle pass XP token for 30 minutes. Your challenge for this is to get 10 operator or special zombie tax stance kills with SMGs as well. So you got to use SMGs for just about all these challenges. And then once you do all four of those challenges, you unlock the HVT. So the main item of the classified sector and new this season, this is the HRM9. So I think you just have to get all sector rewards to get this weapon. I think in Modern Warfare 2's classified sectors, you have to do all four of these challenges. Then you unlock the fifth challenge for the weapon. I believe they changed that here. So instead of having to do five challenges, you only have to do four now. Correct me if I'm wrong in chat. I believe that's how it worked in MW2 season four and five when we had classified sectors. Season six didn't have one. But that's what you have to do to get the HRM9 SMG, which I believe we can still use in private matches. So we'll go ahead and do that and whatnot just to give it a shot. But when it comes to the new set of weekly challenges, we got the addition of week seven, as you can see. For some reason, this timer up here was bugged last week and just mentioned that season one ends in like 20-ish days. Now it actually reflects that there is a week seven and a week eight as a part of season one by completing all eight weekly challenges. So starting next week, you can get the Coherence Universal Camo, which you can preview, as you can see. It's not animated, not the prettiest looking camo, but it's something for having put in some effort every week with the new set of challenges that released. So today for week seven, by doing all challenges, you will unlock the Tech Evolve Ray LMG for multiplayer. Get first blood three times with the recommended weapon, 20 operator kills with the Jack Signal Burst equipped to the Holger, 30 operator kills with the Jack Bullseye equipped to a recommended weapon, and get three operator fury kills, fury kills with a recommended weapon, can't speak. Get, 10, get 20 operator kills with the Jack Beholder rifle kit equipped to the TYR or the tier. And then get 20 Operator Kills with the Jack Headhunter Carbine Kit equipped to the Rival 9. Lastly, get 30 Operator Kills with the AOK 4.0 RQ9 Recon, that's a tongue twister, equipped to a recommended weapon. For Zombies, already got some progress on that from stream. Get 75 Mercenary Kills with a recommended weapon. Uh, get 300 Kills while aiming down sight with the Jack Signal Burst equipped to the Holger. 250 Kills with the Shotguns, with Shotguns at Epic, Purple Rarity, or higher. And 500 Fire Damage Kills with a recommended weapon. 300 kills with a Jack Thunder LMG kit equipped to the Sidewinder. And then get 300 critical kills uh, with the Jack Headhunter Carbine Conversion equipped to the Rival 9. And then clear infested or five infested strongholds. 
Lastly, Battle Royale. So for Warzone, I know Warzone's actually bugged right now, so be careful loading up. Uh, apparently, people are moving at one frame a second. Creative class is bugged. Really weird issue. So that, I'm sure that'll be fixed with a, with a hot patch in the next like hour or so. In Warzone Urgent Stand, get 10 operator kills in the Northwest region, 10 operator kills in the Southwest region, place in the top 10 five times or complete a covert Xville, which we can't even do that today because that, <laughs> that feature is not yet available. <laughs> they, they have delayed the covert Xville and the weapon case uh, until a further update, maybe season two, whenever they add in an LTM with those features. Sadly, they did not release those features in BR, so you can't do that. Um, in Warzone, open 50 loot caches or get 10 operator kills in the Eastern region, 10 operator kills in the Central region, or complete 15 contracts. As a reminder, you only have to do five total challenges. Could be two from here, three from here, zero from Battle Royale. You could do five challenges from any mode, doesn't matter which. And by doing that, by doing at least five for week seven, you will unlock the Tech Evolve rate, and that will count as progress, and it will count as week seven completed, which progresses you to unlock the Coherence camo. Those are the weekly challenges. Luckily, chat, you could use the new weapons in private matches, and you could spawn into the new 66 map, Rio. Here's the HRM9 in its full glory, as you can see. There's the inspect for it. Pretty nice rate of fire. Let's see if there's any bots that want to volunteer for a kill or whatnot. Really cool iron sight as well. Kind of reminds me of the classic MP5. I like that. Very nice. Really easy to handle. I have no attachments on it. This is just the default version of the weapon. Pretty nice. Pretty nice to handle. Where are the bots at? I put on five bots and they all disappear. I mean, this map is gorgeous, by the way. Also getting a preview of the new 6v6 experience. We got three new maps here in Season 1. And we will be getting... Three new ones in Season 2 as well, as confirmed by the studio. Very nice. Really happy with this one. All right, so somebody in chat just told me that the Growl Iron Sight has returned. If you run a long barrel... Oh, dude. I know this is an SMG, but the Growl Iron Sight from Modern Warfare 19... Oh, my God. People are going to flip. I don't know if that many people know about this yet, but thank you to chat. That's why I'm streaming while recording this. They figured this out. That's actually sick. That is actually sick. Wow. This will be a monster, likely in every mode. Okay. Yeah, shout out to Smart Bar Gaming, who just provided us with that tip. This is the new Tech Evolve Ray LMG. Ooh. This thing's kind of a machine, man. It's belt fed as well. Got a nice inspect. Get that drum mag off the rip in its default form. Loving that iron sight. You're going to get that Scar H feel. Or, I mean, it's a pack, so we already have other tack weapons in this game. But the same iron sight. Check out that. Oh, check out that belt fed reload. Oh, my God. I'm loving this. We got some really good weapons here in Season 1. Very impressed by them. Cannot complain at all whatsoever. At all. Solid rate of fire. Solid handling. No complaints. You got some range with this thing again with no attachments on. Are there any other secret attachments for this weapon that... Make it different. You can switch calibers. Oh, that's right. You can switch calibers. But you can switch calibers with it if you go to the gunsmith. Very cool. Yeah, 5.56 five, or 7.62. Still belt fed. Little... Yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely different. Sounds different. Feels different. Very, very cool. Nice. But those are our two new DLC weapons. Lastly, here's the confusing thing about the event tab. So... The event that was marketed in the recent Reloaded blog post is not the event they released today. They mentioned in the blog post, Soup Siege. That is an event that requires you to get a heat vision kill, deactivate 20 pieces of equipment using DDoS, four kills using the MTZ, uh, two eliminations in a single life with the overkill vest, a Kimbo kills, and then seven kills using lethal equipment to get your hands on the boys special LMG weapon blueprint featuring four attachments. That's what was marketed in the blog. So what did I do? I made a guide as of yesterday, just ahead of schedule on how to do the challenges, best tips on how to do all of them. And there's even a preview of the blueprint because an image leaked out of that a little while ago. An image leaked out of the blueprint a couple of weeks ago. So I put it in the article as well and detonated. The boys special blueprint for the tech uh, eradicator. It's a nice looking skin. So we were prepared ahead of schedule, right? For today's drop, but that's not what ended up releasing. A different event release called Soup Takedown with different rewards and even a universal camo as the mastery unlock, which is really confusing, I know. So, in Soup Takedown, it wants you to get three operator kills without reloading seven times, 
five operators affected by electric shock in the boys mode, 10 operator tax stance kills using the KVD enforcer, 25 temp V syringes in the boys mode, just collect them. And then 25 operator melee kills with the black light flashlight equipped. And then lastly, win seven games with the boys mode. And you will get your hands on this universal camo, death to soups. Badass reward, badass event, but doesn't really make sense as to why they released a separate event. Is there another boys collab coming in season two or a future season? I don't know. The rewards look nice. Those are the challenges for multiplayer, by the way. You can also do them in Warzone. For some reason, not zombies, though. You can get seven operator kills while prone. Five operators affected by electric shock. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Ten operator kills with SMGs in Warzone. Uh, five operator attack stance kills with shotguns. Uh, complete seven contracts. Get eight operator melee kills. And place in the top ten three times. Those are the Warzone set. You will get a calling card, an emblem, battle pass token, large decal, a cool charm, and a consumable. That's really cool. To add the layer of confusion, though, with this event, to add to that, the funny thing is, if we look up, let me see, I will scroll down. I made an article about this. With the initial leaked event for the Boys Club in Season 1, it was originally called the Boys versus the Seven. There were sets of challenges for the Boys and a set for the Seven, and that's not what ended up releasing either. So the original leak was that it would be a versus type event with challenges for the Seven, challenges for the Boys. Funny enough, in the blog post, they marketed these challenges, which was part of the seven challenge list. But then today, the challenges they released are part of the boys. So three variations of this boys collaboration. And not sure why, but I guess we'll find out soon. I guess unless they hot fix this out and provide the community with the real version of the event. Uh, take advantage of this now to get that camel before they maybe hot fix it out and replace it with the blueprint reward. Things are confusing, I know. But hopefully that's clarity for exactly how everything released today with Reloaded. Um, Playlist-wise, 10v10 still here. Souped Up is in, which is for the boys collab. Real 20 for 7 new 6v6 map. Wars Live, Gunfight. Uh, I just got thrown out. Okay. I just got thrown out of the multiplayer menu. Yeah, apparently Warzone's inaccessible, so be careful playing Warzone. But yeah, those are the players that are live, along as, as well as Cutthroat, Ground War, Invasion. That's what's going on. Did they leave Gunfight? They did not leave uh, Gun Game in the Quick Play option. Infected is there, though. But Gun Game is not. So for those that missed out on Gun Game, it's not playable right now. All or Nothing is also not available. That was also not added back to Quick Play. But that is everything they released today with Season 1 Reloaded, content-wise.